Hello, Jess Too Good here, and I actually got the new Muppet series. I went to a bunch of Targets, found some, and it was street dated. Thankfully, eBay exists, and I was able to get a couple. I have eight packs for this video. I can't believe there's Lego Muppet minifigures. This just blows my mind. Apparently, these will have a wide release of May 1st. First minifigure seems to be Swedish Chef. Swedish Chef has this singing tomato as an accessory from the Muppet Show skits. That's a pretty freaky headpiece. We'll, we'll try that on some other minifigures in a second. Swedish Chef just looks fantastic. I'm glad they made a specific molded head, which is all just one piece. That Chef hat is all part of that one piece too. It's not a separate minifigure head and Chef hat like you might expect. You do have some side arm printing there, side dual molded legs, and also some molding at the back with the hair there. This is just a really high quality figure in the dream come true. Swedish Chef looks fantastic. <laughs> just look at this guy right here. That is creepy. All right, next pack. Let's put this aside. And it seems like it's Miss Piggy. And this is just the perfect interpretation of a very iconic character. One thing to note is the side printing. Look at the printing of those rings there, which have a nice silver to them. Dual molded arms and dual molded legs. You even have some uh, boot printing right there. I guess more specifically high heel printing. That looks fantastic. So anyways, yeah, I was at Target and I had a whole bunch there and I was feeling some of them up. And it felt like there was a lot of Gonzo, so maybe Gonzo would be the most common in the series. Regardless, it seems like we got Beaker. Beaker looks hilarious. I love the spring green torso and legs they have going on there, which you don't usually see for this type of minifigure in like a lab coat. Love the one by two print on this piece right here, which is just a regular walkie-talkie Lego piece. Molded head right here, which looks absolutely perfect. Permanent scared expression is perfect for Beaker. At the back. There's actually no printing or anything whatsoever. You can see some side leg printing though on those dual molded legs. So anyways, we have five packs left. Yeah, at Target, they also had the Lightyear sets. They were free today too. If anybody in the US has found the Lightyear sets, I'll buy them off of you if you can ship them to them to me ASAP or just tell me where you found them. Regardless, perfect right after Beaker, we have Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. And I love the headpiece of Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. That's just perfect for the character. We'll show him next to Beaker in one second. But uh, one thing to note right off the bat, didn't expect mid-legs on this character. I, I didn't even notice that right off the reveal pictures. Well, sorry, there aren't reveal pictures, even though this is in stores. They were freaking found in stores a month ago, and those were just leaked pictures, and that's all we got. Regardless... Excellent looking minifigure, even with the uh, mid legs there. I don't know if that's the right height, but uh, who knows? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, Muppet fans. And uh, some side leg printing there. I think that's a new color for that uh, beaker piece, literally, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. And yeah, with a beaker side by side, I guess that's a good height between the two. It just looks a little bit uh, short, I would imagine, compared to the size of Kermit or whatever. But uh, we'll get to Kermit in a little bit, I hope. I mean, I hope he's in one of these eight packs. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm doing great. But uh, if I don't get Kermit today, I'm going to be a little bit sad. Because it's like, that's the main guy. Kermit the Frog. Oh, shoot. It's Statler, the design of which looks even more hilarious with that molded head than a Swedish Chef because this is another human character, a like human-looking Muppet. The design of this, having, again, fantastic, just intricate molding all around where you have that hair and eyebrow detailing with some nice ridges and everything there. They capture that perfectly. And then we also have an accessory of a laptop, Kind of weird with Statler having a laptop as an accessory. I kind of like Ash and Flash and I's idea of having Statler and Waldorf have like half of their little balcony part as a build. We did that in our CMF draft. But regardless, we have this accessory of a laptop with Scooter on it. I guess this is a reference to Muppets Now, which was not a really good series. I was not a fan of that. In general, I'm more of a fan of the movies, but uh, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with the Muppet shows too much, but uh, Muppet Now is just not very good. 
We have a one by two keyboard print, which is actually an existing print that appears in sets like uh, the light years that I just got and reviewed. That one had a laptop in white with that one by two print. When closed, the laptop looks a lot like a book because it does use pieces that were originally intended for book designs from Lego. And then we do have printing at the side legs with those uh, little shoe designs, which is actually pretty useful. Nice tuxedo design there or suit where that could be used outside of the Muppet setting. Well, now I also need Waldorf, gosh. <laughs> well, let's see, uh, so far all original, so no repeats. Usually when I say that I get a repeat and did I jinx myself? Nope, still the original with the animal. Wow, they went all out with animal. The accessory there of that drum set uses quite a bit of pieces for a CMF accessory. Love the two by two exclusive print at the front there. And this design uses stuff like that action pose piece, a paddle piece at the side with a really nice brass gold design of that dish piece. Great to get in a CMF series and a stud at the bottom there. And you can see how Animal uses the drumstick pieces, uh, well, actually specifically the wand pieces from Harry Potter for the drumsticks. That works interestingly. Regardless, the design of Animal here does have some nice side arm printing. Love how that turned out with the dual molded arms there. Also some side leg printing, back torso printing, and a very interesting molded head. Again, love just the detailing with the fuzz there, or whatever you want to call it, hair, fur, whatnot. It just comes out really intricate with each of these little molds here. And then the design of this connects with just that neck attachment there, and you can see how that looks from the bottom. And the face print is just the perfect animal look there with that excited open mouth look. I love the detailing with the mouth inside there. Where for Sesame Street, some of the minifigures looked a little bit odd with the printing in their mouth, but Animal came out perfect here. All right, let's see. It doesn't look like I'm going to get Kermit, but, uh, yeah. Oh, there's Waldorf. As for Waldorf, this design, again, did not expect to see mid-legs there. That's quite interesting. Also, a new 2x2 two two print with zzz on it, as if they're going to sleep. It's boring. <laughs> That's pretty great. Then you do have a saucer and a teacup there, which is just a nice extra accessory. Also nice printing on the legs there with the shoes at the bottom. Again, that design with the legs and torso can definitely be used in the Lego City setting or whatnot. It's pretty useful outside of the Muppets line. That's it for Waldorf. All right, I mean, I'm glad I got all unique characters, but dang it, a Kermit would have been perfect. Regardless, oh, last minifigure is Janice. And Janice is a little bit out of place since we only have Animal from Electric Mayhem, and that makes sense because Animal is like a main character, but then we just have Janice. And again, Janice is a female, and they needed to balance out the gender here, where the only other one we had was, what, Miss Piggy, unless you count Camilla with uh, the Gonzo figure. Regardless, love the design of Janice here, and Janice is a great character, like totally like dude, <laughs> the design of which has a lot of colors on that head. Printing at the top little beanie design, which is perfect. Intricate molding. It's probably one of the, I guess, most intricate hair, or sorry, head pieces of this whole series. With the hat, the hair, the face at the front, and the different colors that that brings with the lipstick, the eyelids, even the print at the hat. Then we have a new coloring for the guitar there, which looks fantastic. Love the torso and leg print, which you could get a better look at right there. You can see how the leg printing is actually dual molded as well. With some great side leg printing for the shorts as well as the shoes. Back torso printing and more side printing as well. A very detailed minifigure even if she's not the most popular character. Either way, unfortunately, that's it. We got some great pairs here. Not to be wrong, but uh, yeah, I was really looking forward to Kermit. Actually, let's take a look at the checklist here to see which other ones I'm missing. So we got all that bottom row there with those four. Then the next row, missing Fozzie there, which oh, that looks fantastic. And there's Kermit as well. Love the banjo piece. And the overall design is actually growing on me. The head at first didn't really work, but uh, it's, it's starting to look all right to me. And at the top, missing Rolf the dog as well as Gonzo. 
Oh well. I love how the back of this background for the checklist is like Kermit fur. And then let's see at the back right here. They just kind of show how to build the animals drum set as well as some of these other builds here. But anyways, I'm really impressed by the detailing here. $5 a pop is actually worth it with some of the best molded heads yet. The printing and just the fur and hair details and everything throughout these characters is captured so perfectly. These fit well in the minifigure format with some great printing on torso and legs and some fun accessories to boot. Let me know which is your favorite out of the ones I opened today. Subscribe for more LEGO Muppets content and new LEGO content in general. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.